Now we're going to trace this. We're going to use our line tool to begin with. We can use a solid line. Eventually, I don't want a solid line. I want a boundary line, which could be a, a double dash like this or a triple dash, stormwater, something like that. Uh, we'll come back to that a bit later. And we're going to make it quite thick. So these pens aren't particularly the way that I want them to be. Uh, we'll, we can talk more about how we can adjust pens a bit later as well. But for now, that'll be fine. So we're going to use pen one. And I'm going to start by tracing the front line. I'm going to click the top corner, go down. We see it's not quite straight. It'd be nice if it was perfectly straight. It would also be nice if we had the angles. Uh, we don't have that either. So I'm going to try to make it as straight to the picture as I can, not necessarily true straight, and then type in a, a value. One, five, seven, eight, six. Again, I know it's not going to be perfect uh, because I'm only tracing something that is a picture, not a vector based, and it's not a proper survey. It does, it's not a full survey or a detailed survey. Um, but at least it does give us boundary dimensions. And I'm going to keep doing this. So 41135. 41135. Let's do this one again. 15. Sometimes if you're finding that uh, it's giving you a guideline that you don't want, we can, under view, turn off this snap points or snap guides uh, when we're trying to draw something that's not actually straight deliberately. 15, 6, 0, 2. And then I could just join the last two, but it's always good to check. So when I measure across, we see that it's not quite right. So what I'll do instead is I will type in the number that is correct, 4, 1, 1, 3, 5. And we see that there's a bit of a gap left over, which means one of my angles is wrong. Which angle is wrong? I don't know. So what I'm going to do instead is move one of these, move the last line that I drew. And then to show you how we could fix this, I'm going to add some arcs. When I add arcs to this line, I'll turn off trace reference because it's a bit too hard to see now. What I'm doing is defining the possibilities of where those lines could intersect. So this is basic geometry. So we see that these lines are not intersecting, but they could intersect at these points. So I can just move them to the points where they should or could intersect. Now when I turn my trace reference back on, we see that I've now deviated from the drawing but at least the length of the lines should be accurate. So that's it. Now we've traced the boundary. In the next video, I'll trace the house as well. Now we don't have a size for the house in this drawing, which is a shame. Uh, if this was a true survey, a PDF or a uh, DWG, even better, uh, then it would give me an exact size of the house, which I could then use. So at the moment, yes, it's a bit more guessing.